Good evening. Today, we will be covering the post-market update dated the 16th of September, 2024. Indian markets climbed to fresh all-time high and snapped a three-day losing streak on September 16, with Nifty finishing near 25,400 led by bank, metal, and energy names. At close, the Sensex was up 97.8 for points or 0.12% at 82,988.78, and the Nifty was up 27.25 points or 0.11% at 25,383.75. Top Nifty gainers included NTPC, JSW Steel, Hindalco Industries, Sriram Finance and LNT, while losers were Bajaj Finance, HUL, Bajaj Finserv, SBI Life Insurance and Britannia Industries. Talking about the corporate segment, we have Shares of BSE zoomed over 17% on September 16 to hit an all-time high of 3,448 rupees on the National Stock Exchange, NSE, driven by high volumes. So far in the day, a total of 33 lakh shares of the company changed hands on BSE and NSE combined, compared to the monthly average trading volume of 8 lakh shares. BSE last month reported that its quarter 1 financial year 2025 net profit nearly quadrupled, excluding exceptional items. Asia's oldest stock exchange's April-June net profit came in at 265.05 rupees crore, up 264% from 72.6 rupees crore in the same quarter a year ago on a like-to-like -like basis. The exchange had posted a net profit of 107.04 rupees crore in the January-March quarter, according to a statement. The firm's revenue from operations rose over 180% year-on-year to 607.7 rupees crore in the quarter under review from 215.62 rupees crore in the year-ago period. In the January-March quarter, the company's revenue stood at 488.37 rupees crore. BSE had reported an exceptional gain of 406.62 rupees crore, 367.5 rupees crore net of tax, in quarter 1 financial year 2023-24 from profit on the divestment of a 5% stake in Central Depository Services, India. Shares of Lumax Auto Technologies rose nearly 10% after the automotive systems and component supplier announced a strategic agreement to acquire a majority stake in Green Fuel Energy Solutions Private Limited from its current shareholders. The stock has gained 20% in the past six months, outperforming the Nifty 50 which gained 15% during the same period. This acquisition marks Lumax Auto's entry into the rapidly growing segment of green and alternate fuels, including CNG and hydrogen applications. Green Fuel, known for its expertise in high-pressure fuel delivery and storage systems, as well as fire and smoke alarm systems for the automotive industry, supplies major OEMs such as Maruti Suzuki, Tata Motors, and Volvo Ica commercial vehicles. Shares of Stove Craft surged 7% to a 52-week high of 932 rupees on September 16 after MK Global initiated a buyer rating with a target price of 1,350 rupees. Analysts are optimistic, citing the stock's attractive valuations and the company's strong innovation and a value for money at positioning. Stove Craft manufactures cooking appliances under Scarva, Pigeon, and Gilmer brands. The Bengaluru-based company's cooking appliances include mixer grinders, pressure cookers, cooktops, toasters, chimneys, and kitchen utensils. Emke Global finds stove craft valuations attractive amid strong market share gains at 35% EPS CARG along with robust free cash flows. Furthermore, the brokerage firm believes that the company has been improving distribution expansion, including new age channels such as e-com and modern retail. Shares of Galaxy Surfactant zoomed over 8% on September 16 to hit a 52-week high of 3,325 rupees on the National Stock Exchange, driven by high volumes. So far in the day, a total of 1 lakh shares of the company changed hands on BSE and NSE combined, compared to the monthly average trading volume of 27,000 shares. The specialty chemicals major reported a net profit of 79.7 rupees crore in the quarter ended June 2024, up 6%. Its earnings before interest tax depreciation and amortization at 129.5 rupees crore grew 3% year-on-year and EBITDA margins at 13.2% remain stable. 
The company's revenues at 979.5 rupees crore grew 3% on year. After the quarter one financial year 2025 earnings report, K. E. Nutrogen, managing director, Galaxy Surfactant said that there are visible signs of improving demand for our premium specialties, which should improve the company's overall profitability. Our Thai surfactant's limited in daily time frame is trading around 767.60 points with a change of 19.99% and is trading with a net volume of around 546.612 thousand shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 674.12, which is a good indication for the stock. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 77.52. Kohina Foods Limited in daily time frame is trading around 46.83 points with a change of 19.98% and is trading with a net volume of around 5.121 million shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 41.10, which is a good indication for the stock. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 72.96. Dolex Agritech Limited in daily time frame is trading around 44.25 points with a change of 19.76% and is trading with a net volume of around 488,000 shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 37.57, which is a good indication for the stock. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 73.69. For the stock recommendation we have, Escorts Cubota Limited looks good and can be bought at 3,849 rupees, keeping a stop loss of 3,750 rupees and a target of 3,975 rupees. You can reach us via phone, WhatsApp, or email using the information listed on the screen. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more financial insights. And, as always, if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, leave them in the comments section below. Until next time, happy investing!